Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. I purchased more plants than I have time to plant. That's the situation that a lot of us find ourselves in. This is a uh, Ageratum Blue Horizon. Um, I mean, it's, it's such a great deal because Ageratum Blue Horizon in a six pack, this is actually a perennial where I am. And I mean, it's such a great deal. A Blue Horizon Ageratum, White Fringe Orlea, Scabiosas, like this one is the Cut Bright Formula mix. This one is Fata Morgana. And the six pack of Nicotiana Perfume Series. It's such a great value. The only situation is that if you don't keep them well watered, they will just wilt. They can also die as well. Because I'm not quite ready to plant them yet, but I still want them to grow. They need soil, they need nutrients, they need um, room to stretch their roots. I need to up-pot them. These cells were, were from, you know, when they're just small seedlings. And right now, this one, for example, this uh, Scabiosa is getting ready to flower. And of course, these Nicotianas are already flowering. And, you know, for, for this, much, uh, this much foliar growth, and then this small space for root growth, it's just insufficient. And so it's time, it's only fair to give them space to grow. Recently, I have been using EB Stone Organics. This is Edna's Best Potting Soil. And also Green All, Natural and Organic Potting Soil. Such high quality. And so this one, it has, it's a special blend. It has earthworm castings, kelp meal, bat, guano, feather meal, and a natural wetting agent. This one, what does it have? Similar, similar ingredients, earthworm castings, bad guano, feather meal, and kelp meal. So I like to save my three or four inch pots, including the pots from Proven Winners. And also garden centers that I shop at have been so kind to give me trays to take home. So this is Blue Horizon. And poor thing, I just, I came back home and it was like, it was pretty much, it looked like it was dead. I mean, I, uh, I dunk it immediately in water, the whole thing, and uh, it's come back to life, as you can see. So, yeah, you can see here, already root bound. And so I'm going to just kindly, kindly pry, because the roots, you can see here, the roots are already like all around and also all within the, um, what do you call this? The cell space. Look at that. So definitely time to give a bigger home for the roots. Very easy. What you do is just, just plant it up. I like to just um, push in a little bit from the inner perimeter and then pack it in. Oops. Try and do this quickly. I mean, you can be gentle, you can also, I mean, it's, it's a very, it's quite a forgiving plant, as you can see. So I'm quite sure that teasing the roots a little bit is not going to hurt it. So far, it's been quite a forgiving plant. All right. Okay, two finished. I like to leave... I mean, this is probably a little too high. I like to leave a little bit beneath the rim so that water can, uh, so that when I'm watering, the soil doesn't just spill out. I feel like I'm working at a nursery. Well, it kind of is a nursery. It's my home nursery, actually, because I am, I am nursing all these plants. <laughs> So the Azure items, I'll pot it. I don't know where I'm planting these yet, but I, 
I will have a place for them. They get huge. They're supposed to be like, like that, <laughs> like these beautiful Nicosianas over here. Seems to me that this one is also going to be the crimson reddish pink and as well as this one too. So perhaps I might be just left with, uh, with one lime green, but uh, just beautiful. I love Nicosianas. One finished, not too root bound. Just get it going. Spread the roots out a little bit to help it get started on its uh, spreading within the pot. So I think I'm going to probably plant these Nicosianas up. Oh, this one has a second baby, a second seedling in here. Look at this. I'm going to be planting up these Nicosianas in the garden, in the ground, most likely in about a month. So perhaps early June. I might plant some of these up in pots as well, in bigger pots or in container arrangements. Haven't decided yet. Okay, very cool. Look at them. They look like, look like carrots. <laughs> so, yeah, these are all quite, these are quite vigorous growers too. So they grow to, the height is 24 to 30 inches. So two to two and a half feet tall and the width is nine inches to 12 inches so up to a foot wide white finch or layer okay so take this one out okay These were left out to dry for a few days as well um, when I was super busy a couple weeks ago. But uh, so glad that they're so forgiving and so tolerant of my uh, unfortunate neglect. <laughs> and uh, here they are, still alive and kicking. And now they're in new homes. I think we'll call these, uh, not yet homes, but uh, cabins. We'll call these uh, cozy cabins. These are quite durable pots, these PW pots. And so it's good to be able to use these over and over again. All right, so it's already dark. Scabiosas will have to wait one more day. I like to water multiple times just so that all the soil gets saturated and also settles. Everyone got a nice drink and I'm so happy that these Nicotianas, Ageratums and Orleas have room to grow. I want to show you some things that are happening. So this is Coronation Gold. This is a yarrow. I have two of them. One right here, one right there. This is a pineapple lily. Look at this. Year two in my garden. It didn't bloom last year, so I'm hoping that this year it will bloom. I got a surprise a couple of days ago because I noticed that this pineapple lily, which I thought died last year, has come back to life. Look at this. Okay, everyone, I wish all of you a continued wonderful weekend and happy, happy gardening.